Poppity corn. What's popping? What's going on in the life of Capricorn between the 16th and the 31st of October? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all healing? Hmm. Hmm. Internal work being done, huh? <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, hey, how you doing? I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I mean, cuss. Cuss little, cuss lot, depending on what the hell these cards say. So, if cussing is not for you, please feel free to go find one of these beautiful other readers on YouTube. Okay? And I still love you a long time. No love lost, but I this is my shit, and I'm going to do what I want to do, so I cuss. Okay? Um, This will be from the 16th to the 31st of October. It is not a personal reading. It is general. Take what applies. Leave the rest. Okay? And if you need a personal reading, I do have a sale going on. $15 off on my 30, 45, and 60-minute sessions. Uh, Between now and the 1st of November, I was going to stop it on the 15th, but I'm going to keep it going into the 1st of the month Uh, since I did receive a few emails. Like, oh, I'm okay. That's not fair because this Still okay, okay, okay. I extended it. All right. So, um, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Capricorn. So, all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We don't fight, we don't fuss, we do cuss, but we leave there fighting and fussing on other people's channel. We don't play that shit up in here. We love, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten positive shit only. We family, and we act accordingly. Okay. Um, my old subscribers, what the hell, y'all? What's popping? What's going on? What's up, Emily? What's 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 tea? Thank y'all so much for showing out with the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I read each and every one. I may not have time to reply to everyone because shit to pick up for the kid, thank God. You know, but I will say I appreciate it, y'all. I thank y'all so much. Um, so with that, without further ado, let's get into it. Capricorn, I do see the center of your reading as far as your spiritual reading is healing. The mind, the body, the soul, healing. Things stabilizing outwardly and inwardly in order for you to move forward. Some of you all could possibly receive some fast communication, okay? Possibly either from or having to do with the Leo. I feel like this person is charging for it. And this person could possibly... For some, I see two scenarios, okay? I see that some of you all are very, very, very passionate about a Leo. Some of you guys could have known this person during your childhood. This could be someone you grew up with. This could be someone who you possibly put in work with in the past. This person is a twin flame for you if you were questioning it. Yes. Some of you could be finding out now. We could be doing research during this time to figure out who the hell your twin flame is, okay? But for some of you all, spirit is really calling for you to be reflective. For some of you all, you're possibly ending cycles with an air sign when finding something out, okay? Possibly that was done in the past. That could possibly also involve your children um, as well, especially if you have a fire sign child, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see some of you guys could possibly be finding out, especially if you're dealing with the sign of Gemini. Some of you guys could find out this person uh, could have had, like, Put you in a third party situation with the Leo. If you're dealing with the Leo, this person could have done this to you with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But for some of you are, you actually, <laughs> some of y'all going to find out that you actually had that had a twin flame all along. For some of you, you and your twin could have actually, some of y'all, y'all have a very promiscuous twin flame. Let me say that. But for some of you all, you're going to find out that your twin flame was possibly someone who you had like an in and out relationship with. And now you're understanding why the relationship was intense and why you're feeling like you lost something, you lost something or you're feeling this void during this time. And for some of you all, this person is wanting to come forth and actually mend that and work on that with you. Some of you all are really needing to do some really, really shine the light on kind of where you've been. Things that you've gone through, things that you've hurtled through, and really take time to truly heal. Some of you all have a lot of internal work to do, okay? Some of you all could be possibly getting information possibly about rehab or I'm hearing rehab. I'm also hearing like some type of, uh, for some type of addiction, okay? Um, I am seeing some of you all have, some of you all are going to be very passionate about your children during this time. Some of you all are learning things from your children as well. Some of you guys, there's going to be light shed on the situation having to do with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and it's something that I feel like you didn't want to see, but the communication is going to be coming fast, but it's going to allow you to heal. For some of you all, you definitely belong with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like some of you all, for some of you all during this time, please be open to receiving 
Okay, your third eye is going to be pouring out information to your ass. Some of y'all want to give to a situation having to do with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You want to work, you want to work through a relationship with this person. You see this person as a soulmate, but you're needing to heal your mind, body, and spirit first. Some of you all could be seeing 333 because it's very, it's a very expansive time. Okay, even with this number nine with spirit giving. Okay. Spirit is trying to give you something beautiful. For some of you, it's coming in the form of love, possibly with the cancer, but you're needing to love thyself first. And so I feel like for some of you who haven't been wanting to make that move, Spirit is going to bring you some information that's going to allow you to take the mask that you, because some of y'all been knowing that you need to make that move, but you're choosing to be still, still, still choosing to be still, choosing to be still. <laughs> so Spirit is going to bring you some information that's going to allow you to take that blindfold off. It's clear cut truth, okay? That's going to allow you guys to move forward. For some of you, you're moving forward toward the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, and for some of you, it's away from one. I do see some of you possibly want to reconcile with the Pisces or Sagittarius during this time. It does, not, it does have to do with past life energy. This person could be someone who you dated or was within the past. You could also have children with this person. I see that a lot of you all have been patiently waiting, wanting to nurture the relationship, but maybe you're possibly dealing with someone else or possibly dealing with someone who's possibly um, a Sagittarius. This person could be a Capricorn towards Virgo. This person could also be another water sign or air sign, but you feel stuck in the situation and you feel stuck from literally, literally living and being happy with someone. A relationship with someone who wants to nurture you back because I feel some of you all are going to possibly be going through some form of you're going to feel like you're just tired of being burdened. I'm tired. I'm over it. I'm dropping these damn ones. I can't take this shit no more. Okay. Some of you all are going to find out if you're dealing with a Gemini, this person could have in the past. Um, or could be having a sexual relationship with another Leo. That came out. That came out very, very, very strongly with these three. Some of you guys could be receiving information about it. Okay, but this is how they feel. Okay, for some of you all, this information could involve your children, some form of fashion. Y'all, let me know who that applies to. Some of you all, you could definitely be overprotective of your children during this time, especially if you're going through a separation with someone. Some of you guys are going to um, be feeling burdened because you could be possibly dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That's very indecisive on what the hell they want to do. It's like they they have a choice between two. And instead of making that choice, they're putting you in a third party situation. Possibly with the uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, or possibly with the water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are are, um, are kind of internally conflict too about moving forward, possibly with a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because they put you in third party situations. And I feel like with some of y'all, it's with the same damn person who could possibly be a water sign or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of you guys... Especially if you've been working somewhere for the net for the last three months, know that spirit is bringing balance into your life. Some of you guys will actually be healing, healing, um, and having conversations with your children, especially if you have young sons. Some of you guys need to heal the uh, heal the relationship with your kids, and some of you all could be healing a situation that you find out around your children. It could have possibly involved a third party situation in the past. But some of you all are really needing to move forward, okay, when you find this information and find out this information and still be receptive in love, okay, move forward, but just know the spirit had to align things the way that they need to go because for some of you all, you're not wanting to see the truth. Some of you all have a younger earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo. I feel like this is someone who you knew in the past and this person wants to, they want to move very slowly and offering you, you know, their intention, offering, making an offer to you, however, their intentions is this Ace of Cups, okay? But some of you all, you are kind of nurturing nurturing your Ace of Cups. Some of you all have been dealing with somebody possibly for three months, three weeks. And I feel like for some of you all, you just don't want to fuck this up. Like, I don't want to fuck this up. I know that this is bad. You know, I don't want to fuck this up because my money looking good. For some of you all, you're possibly worried about leaving someone who you have some type of family structure because I feel like you think that you're going to take some type of financial loss. But no, know this. When you move forward, your money going to look well. For some of you all, you have someone in your energy that is kind of being a blockage to you because I'm hearing the word leech straight like that. Spirit don't give a damn about nobody feeling. Some of y'all have the mother of your child. Okay. I feel like some of you all are the mother of your child. 
I feel like this person could have moved forward. You could have left this person in the cold. Or you could possibly be defensive toward this person. But at the same time, you wanted to take a leap of faith. Some of you are are going to be very defensive, possibly towards the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Strong Aries vibes. But some of you all are being defensive towards taking a leap of faith and, 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 and actually having that confidence within yourself to know that everything is going to be okay. Some of you all have... Um, the mother of your child, the father of your child, you feel like they're a leech. And that's the word I'm hearing, leech. Um, you feel like this person is very, very, very needy of you. And it's making you feel this ten of wands energy. It's making you feel like you got a monkey on your back. And some of y'all finna throw that monkey in the water. I'm tired. Just go swim your way out of it. You, you monkey, you'll make it. Can monkey swim? Another question for another day. It's all right. Had a whole Becky with y'all. But yeah, you needed to make a judgment call. Something, Some information is coming forward to allow Capricorn to make a judgment call on where you want to be. For some of you all, I feel like you have a choice between choosing the mother or the father of your child or possibly someone who you could have actually dealt with in the past or who you could be with now, but you feel very stagnant with this person or this person makes you feel like you're not good enough. For some of you all, you have a water sign or an earth sign in your energy who's co solely codependent on you and you feel like, Damn, like, you know, when I have to face my battles, I have to fight my way through them. When you have to face show shit, you want to lean on me. And I honestly, I'm trying to focus on my coins and focus on my children. I don't have time to cool my y'all with you every day. And I feel like it's something that's really needing to discuss because the fact that I have all these cards here and I don't have too many swords, I feel Capricorn that you're keeping your feelings very close to your chest. I feel like some of you all, there's, you feel like they're, you're giving more than the other person. You feel like, you know, I give, 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 and you take, 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 but don't fix shit to try to compromise with me. I feel like you've been trying to put in the work to fix a situation, to heal a marriage, to restore a relationship, some type of family dynamic. However, you just really kind of find peace within yourself because you're really needing to be reflective over, you know, what it is that you truly, truly, truly want, Capricorn. And for some of you all, it is this Ten of Cups. So some of you all are going to choose to reconcile possibly with the family situation, okay? Especially if you have a family with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you have um, a family with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see, yeah, some of y'all definitely have two options. You have, some of y'all are having a hard time choosing between love and money, straight like that. I feel like, some of y'all feel like money is a distraction. I mean, money. Love is a distraction from you getting your money, especially if you're dealing with a codependent person. Some of y'all could find out that, again, they go to air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's juggling. Some of y'all going to find out that this person wants to leave, and they're possibly setting up for, like, some type of, like, foundation elsewhere. Some of y'all may find something, and it's not for you to blow the fuck up. It's just about you being real with yourself because intuitively you already knew. You already knew, but here you are beating your damn self up about new love and feeling stuck in a situation and not wanting to move on a reconciliation that you know and you feel in your soul is meant for you that's going to make you happy, you know, but you're going to get this information that's going to assist you in making this judgment call. For some of you all, <clears throat> know this. Some of you all have a fire sign in your energy. Maybe in the past, the issue... The reason why things couldn't work out because it has something to do with stability. And this could have been the love of your life, okay? But you feel like now that you're in a very stable place, now that you're in a place where you go from this damn six to the nine to the king, okay? This could also, it's not gender-based. This could also be the queen, but you could be a man or a woman and still come up as the king of pentacles. You're looking well and swell. Your shmani's looking fantastic, fabulousistic. Yeah, I made a word, so what? But you're you looking real good. And you're getting a redo during this time. What you going to choose? Because for some of y'all, it's, it's definitely around this leap of faith. Taking this leap of faith. It's a lot of pride here, too. Someone's very prideful. Someone don't want to take accountability. And someone's definitely needing to. For some of you, you could also be finding out that if you've been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you or this other person got options. Yeah. Some of y'all definitely have a Capricorn towards Virgo or a water sign coming. But some of you all, you're wanting to make an offer to an Aquarian and let this person really know how you feel or this person is coming forward and they want to let you know that they want to put the work in now with you. Some of you guys are actually moving toward your dream job. Congratulations. You finally released that damn fear and decided to move forward. 
some of you all will find out, especially if you're dealing with a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius, that this person, okay, could possibly not be communicating that they're going to cut you off and possibly reconcile with someone from their past, a water sign. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Or reconcile with the past lover, but they're going to go be happy. And it's not for you to be feeling like you're not good enough or feeling like, you know, what did I do? How come I wasn't good enough? How come they chose somebody over me? It wasn't that they chose somebody over you. They did what Spirit was trying to push your ass to do a long time ago, and that's put you first. Because this person showed you they were a taker. But some of you all <clears throat> who've been wanting a Leo, here they come. Here they come. You're going to get what you want. But it's about you being real with yourself. Because you can't buy shit with pride. And you and, and, and don't nobody got no ego sales. Okay? So you're going to have to put that down. And truly, truly, truly heal. Mighty, heal your body, mind, and spirit. So that they're in tune with what it is that you want. Some of y'all really need to meditate a whole lot more. And you really needed to get outside and be more active. Some of you all, your throat chakra and your heart chakra was really, 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 really a touch on. Some of you guys are going to be having dreams. If you had dreams about your partner doing some type of deception, spirit was literally trying to show you your tower moment. Okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. They were trying to show you your tower moment to assist you and let you know, oh, baby, this wheel is spinning and it's time to jump off and recreate. Some of y'all, you're going into a new cycle with an Aries. But the towers had to fall in order for something solid to be rebuilt, re, re rebuilding, restructuring, renewing. Be allowing, be receptive, because it's okay to receive. God got something for a lot of y'all, if only you trust the process, and be willing to walk away from things that no longer serve you. For some of you, it's this King of Wands, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you, it's that air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong emphasis on Gemini and Libra. Could also be an Aquarian, but Gemini and Libra showed up. If you're married to this person, some of y'all are in love with a Leo. This is your Ace of Wands. This is your Ace of Cups. Go get it. You're only a stuck. You're only stuck when you allow yourself to be this damn hangman. You're only stuck when you're allowing to being stuck. Go get it. What you waiting for? What you scared of? Happiness? Nah. That ain't what's up. Take the mask off and allow yourself to feel. So that you can be empowered and move forward in a new beautiful whole way. Whole way. This is what I have for my Capricorns between the 16th and the 31st of October. And I want y'all to comment and let me know how this resonates. Because this is a very powerful message. Until the first of the month, or whenever the hell I drop some videos, or go live. I'm still, like I told you, Aries, I'm going live. I just ain't telling y'all when, because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, Mocha, what happened? And blah, blah, blah. Y'all just better look for that damn bell. And I will be answering my super chat questions first. And then I'll also be picking um, picking by possibly giving either a number or some sort some sort of thing, you know, to choose from with my questions, okay? So I love you very, very, very much. Much love, much light, many blessings, much abundance, much healing energy to you, my babies. Namaste. I love y'all, family. Bye.